I'm so scared. <laughs> oh god. Hey guys, so um, welcome to my channel again, and um, it is results day. Um, I filmed my reaction, which is the next video. I looked really awkward there because I'd just woken up and I was stressed out and I was nervous. Um, I was on the call to, um, sorry, my hair's weird. I was, on, I was on the phone to two of my friends, and um, so you can hear them, or maybe you can't. Um, and they look, re and I'm really nervous. Um, I'm, and yeah, I'm going to include the timestamp, but just for context, um, eight levels of this year were cancelled, so then we were given teacher grades, so teachers gave us grades, but then the government like modified them in a really really bad system um i needed I, I applied my firm was to do ancient languages with a year abroad at ucl and my insurance was um classics and scandinavian studies at edinburgh for ucl i needed um grades a a b with an a in spanish and with um edinburgh i needed a b b so yeah my reaction is there, there there'll be timestamps in below and then at the end i'm just going to do a quick explanation might I just um I know I cut the video down so the uh video of me finding out my grades and waiting for um track to to log into track so I cut it down a bit so that's like why it looks weird so I cut some things out and also some of the conversations I ha was having with my friends I cut out so the video vid video wasn't too long so that's why it if if it seems weird that's why. Hey guys um I look awful but like it is now quarter past eight and i just got an email from uh my school so i'm on the i'm on the i'm on a call with two of my friends um so one sabina who's um it's her birthday today happy birthday sabina and the other one's julia and it's actually quite poetic because um like um it's actually quite poetic because last year i woke up early so then i could be there to support julia and now like julia's here to support me it's like oh friendship goals No, okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to school email. Okay, craft, 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 oh. You can tell I'm nervous, um. Oh god, they're here. Oh god, I thought I thought when I opened the email they would be here but they're on um a file and it's like do I want to click on them? Okay, um <gasps> Oh wow, oh god Okay guys I got them <laughs> How did it go? Uh, Sab uh, yeah. Sabina, I got the same as you, A, A, B, B. Nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, it's actually quite funny because my prediction was right because I thought I would get an A in English literature and not an A in Spanish or um, classics, but I wasn't sure, but I did. So, okay, so I'm, yeah, um, oh, thank you. So, like, um, I'm disappointed I didn't get an A in the other two, but I wasn't expecting it, so I'm not too disappointed, but I'm really happy I got an A in English literature, so... Oh, okay, um, okay, so, um, mixed feelings, but mostly good, because, okay, should I go to UCAS track? Yeah, you should go to UCAS track, because sometimes they... Oh, no, I, so I went on it at, like, five past eight, and it wasn't working, and it's not working now. Wait, what's happening? I can't, we can't hear you, Julia. Got a B in Spanish, a B in Classics, and an A in English literature. So I'm happy about the A. But um, what were you gonna say, Julia? I was going to say the do check UK UK UCAS. UCAS. Do check um, UCAS because it does actually um they can let you in with lower grades sometimes when they can actually ask for something additional to like prove they have the grades. Oh so oh oh yeah, of course. Like I, I need A A B to get into UCL and I've got an ABB. Problem is I didn't get an A in Spanish, but um, I don't know, I'm gonna check UCAS now. Yeah, it's still not working. Sabina, is there any luck for you? So guys, um, 
UCAS, mm. so UCAS was not updating, like, I was on, um, oh, now my computer's frozen. I was on UCAS, and it just wasn't, like, it wasn't going on, but also I didn't get an email from UCAS saying that, um, like, I'd gotten a not from track saying that I'd gotten a notification, mm -hmm. but I finally checked it about, like, quarter to nine, or, or maybe a bit earlier, and I got into UCL, so, um, I didn't, I got one grade lower than they needed, um, and I didn't get an A in Spanish, but they still allowed me in, which is, which I'm really, really happy about, which... Hey guys, sorry for the bad lighting, um, I'm sorry for my bed hair, but, um, it was a few days later, and I just wanted to, um, want to say, so, um, I'm not sure if I made it clear, but, um, I was doing, I was opening my results, and, because we got them by email, and checking to see if I was getting them with two friends on, um, on call, so one was my friend Sabina, it was her birthday, by the way, and, um, she was getting her results, um, as well. And my my other friend was Julia, who's in the year above. Um, he, she's in her first, well, now second year of university. And la this time last year, I woke up early to, because I wanted to support her on her A level results day. So it's like quite nice that um, she did the same thing for me this year. Um, that's why um, I didn't log into track right away. That's why it took um, a while for me to get my results because then when I tried to uh, to see if I got in, because when I tried to log in, um, it was um. Because when I tried to log in, it was, um, because when I tried to log in, it was, it was, it was crashing, like, it wasn't working. So that's why it took, like, like, 40 minutes to find out whether I got in or not. But yeah, so, um, I got, I got in, I didn't meet the grades for UCL, I got, um, ABB rather than AAB with an A in Spanish. But they still allowed me on, and I was really happy, because I was hoping that they would still allow me on, because you, because I knew that universities would be more lenient this year, and also my course has been, um, quite, my course, um, is really small. And um, there, I, there have been people in the years above that I've spoken to who said that they got one grade lower and they still were allowed on, and um, so I was so I was hoping that that happened and it did. I was just concerned about not getting any in Spanish, but they still allowed me on. So, and then my course coordinator um, wrote me like a personal email saying that um, congratulations for getting in and that she can't wait to like um, to in to introduce me to the department. So that was really really nice. Um, I already bought, I've already bought some of the textbooks, like the Hittite one, the Biblical Hebrew one, and I also have the Egyptian one, but I don't think I'm going to do Egyptian, but, uh, thank goodness I got in, because these were expensive, so I don't know what I would have done, um, I probably would have kept them, but I might have had to sell them to pay for other textbooks, because textbooks are expensive, like this one was like £50, um, but yeah, so I was really happy, because, um, I've been working very, very, very hard for A's, like for AA in all three of my subjects, I had been working really, really hard, uh, really, really hard to get AA A in my exams for all three um, subjects. And, but when I, when they were cancelled, and I heard about the grading system, and I had been predicted AA, and my teachers thought I was going to get AA, um, I thought that I was not going to be lucky. I thought I was going to be downgraded, and um, I thought um, realistically, I did. I thought I would get BBB um, or maybe lower. Like I didn't think I was hoping that I would get an A. I thought English literature was the one I was most likely to get an A in, um, and I was. Um, but especially when like before I got my results, I started hearing of my friends who had gotten like. Um, C's and D's and E's, which aren't bad grades, but like they had worked really, really hard. Like they had been in the library every day, and it, it's just it pained me that they got like like effed over by this this this, this disgusting system. Like um, I was really, really lucky that um, I my grades weren't downgraded too much. Like um, so I was really, really pl pleasantly surprised to see that I got um, an A in English literature um, because I'd been really, really working hard for an A so and I did not think I would get um an A any A's at all because of being downgraded. So I'm really really like it was a really really nice surprise. Like I am like slightly disappointed that like well not disappointed but like slightly not too happy because I was working for A's in all three subjects because like if exams had still happened because it would have reflected hard work if you get me but like I'm still very very grateful that I got a A B B. Um and because this system was so awful, like, I am lucky in the sense that I only got downgraded one grade, like, because this system is just honestly disgusting, like, and just so bad, like, people, it, they have downgraded so many students just so then it reflects the center's previous, like, previous, um, 
it so then it reflects the census like previous performance and it's just so so bad like people in um centers that um private schools they've had their grades increase there's been people who their center says grades were a's and they got a stars whereas um non-private schools there's been people who their center says grades were a's and a stars and then they got downgraded to c's d's etc and it's just so unfair so many people didn't get into their uni top universities like i'm very grateful in the sense that uh, i'm very grateful and lucky in the sense that um i wasn't impacted too much so for spanish um my center says grades was an a and but it, it got lowered down to a b and um for classics it was actually a b but it was the top of a b but um so th that stayed the same um like it was the f it was, the ranking was number one out of everyone who was going to get a b but um but so i wasn't impacted too much but some of my friends were impacted so so much especially around the country my our head teacher emailed us saying that um the school was going to appeal because he was very 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 um angry and upset that um that they had downgraded 50 percent of grade grades and um there have been some people thinking i'm not sure if this is confirmed or not i don't know but um, i think it is um that um they have been more harsher on colleges rather than silks form and I, I go to a um college so um i think um i think that was really really bad and everyone was just really really upset especially because like my, my school is like like statistically like the um like one of the best in the country so like um, everyone has really been upset and it's been really really bad so please i urge you even if you're happy for your grades please i'm gonna put some petitions down below please sign them please get everyone you know to sign them um there have been there are some protests going on um so if um so if you can um and if you feel comfortable and if you can socially distance and wear a mask um go to them and if not or even if you are um email your mp especially if um it has impacted you personally email your mp saying um saying this is really unfair this is like really inhumane like they shouldn't be judging like it's not fair that you have to get low grades which you did not deserve just because you don't go just because you don't have enough money to go to private school and just because of where you go to school it's not fair at all it's just really bad and i really hope that the government um does something about it because it's just not on Ugh, it just makes me really angry and upset so yeah um please email your mps especially if you ha are unhappy with your grades and you um like you missed out on your university because then you can include it in your letter and it will sound more personal in your email i'll include the link of how to email them below and yeah, I, I was really sad because um, a lot of my um, closest friends didn't get into university and a lot of my closest friends that I was really, really excited to go to university with, um, a lot of them did not get into UCL and that makes me really sad because like, I had such re high hopes and I loved them so much and then not only am I sad for them that they didn't get in but I'm also sad for, like, I'm just also sad because I was really looking forward to going to UCL with them and um and um i actually had this fear i had this fear throughout the f team that all of my friends would get into ucl and i wouldn't and now kind of the opposite has happened kind of um so like like life is weird um but yeah thanks for watching um please do check out the petition success in the link below and watch out for more videos i'm sorry that there haven't been a lot recently i haven't my mental health has been really 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 bad I'm gonna to try to write to my MP, my MP, my my GP, but um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, and um, please like this video, um, or and uh, please subscribe. Thank you. And I just want to say again, whether or not you got the grades, whether or not you were you were um, effed over by the system a lot or left over by the system not a lot i still want to say i'm really really proud of you you went through a really hard year and um i'm still really proud of you and there are great things in store for you like i know it doesn't seem like that now but please don't lose hope please and i'm still very proud of you and i say well done also i'm really sorry if i seemed ungrateful in the um video in the video i was just really like it's nervous and in shock and also just like and i and i edited some things out and yeah i hope i didn't seem ungrateful or anything